This is going to be a really quick lesson in how to create much more powerful description through controlling powerful verbs. I'm going to take you through this paragraph. It's a nice short one. There are 17 verbs in it. If you're not sure about your understanding of verbs, you should freeze the screen and try and find the verbs now because I'm going straight to the answers. Pause or join me. Right, here are our 17 verbs. Now it's worth remembering that the more verbs you have in a piece of writing, the better the description. Verbs have a much more powerful effect than adjectives or adverbs, the things that teachers normally train you to put in your descriptive sentences. So instead of the dog ran on, I now have the dog leapt ahead. This is much faster and more out of control from the point of view of the dog owner. I've kept she cycled behind him because it is a precise verb that helps us picture exactly what's going on. But now I have the owner yelling for the dog to come back, whereas before I only had the idea of calling. Calling doesn't give us the sense of panic that yelling does. She was calling for the dog to come back, which I've kept the same because it tells us precisely what's going on. Fenton ignored her, sprinting further away. Let's see why those have changed. Fenton kept on going doesn't give us the emotion of the dog, whereas knowing that he'd ignored her tells us a lot about their relationship. Getting further away is very neutral, but sprinting further away shows that the dog is getting a much bigger advantage and she is losing much more control. Now, she pumped the pedals as hard as she could. Obviously, we love the alliteration, but pumped shows us her sense of urgency and panic and also her determination to try and catch her dog. Whereas pedaled as fast as she could doesn't have the alliteration and doesn't give us the idea that she might catch the dog in quite the same way as pumped does. His excited barks alarmed her as he tormented other dogs. So now her pet is dangerous, whereas before she could hear his excited barks, which therefore weren't threatening to anybody. And if those barks were just calling out to other dogs, then again there isn't a sense of threat. There isn't an emotion. So we change the verb to tormented. Next, she tracked him to where flocks of birds burst from the long grass. We love burst because it conveys the speed at which the birds are desperate to get away from the dog and the alliteration emphasizes that. Whereas before, the verb rising just told us exactly what they were doing, but not the emotional state of those birds and their desperation to escape being chewed. She could tell is accurate but very neutral. Whereas she tracked him suggests that she does have a level of competence, that she's going to be able to get hold of her dog again, despite his speed and ill discipline. She reprimanded herself for not tying him on a lead when they set off. Reprimanded is quite a strong verb for telling off. And it's useful here because it shows that she's taking responsibility for her dog's behaviour. She knows that he's a naughty dog and therefore she should have foreseen the ways in which he was going to be naughty. In this version, she wondered why she hadn't put him on a lead. Also makes her blame herself, but in a much more gentle way. We get the idea that she's a kind of dumb dog owner. Whereas in this version, she does have the skills. Remember, she tracked him and she's telling herself off because she's taking responsibility. So I prefer the emotional content of this one. Now, she should have been tying him on a lead, whereas before she was just thinking of putting him on a lead. Tying is a better response to the disobedience and the speed and power of her dog Fenton, and so it is a better verb to convey emotion. All the examples in this video have come from my ultimate guide to description. Links in the description below. And if you want to take your writing to the next level, you'll need to watch my next video on the superpower of adjectives. I hope I see you over there.